Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at uh, another organic reaction, which is elimination. Um, now for elimination, we're going to focus on the removal of water from a molecule. Now, not to be confused with um, condensation, and condensation is the uh, combination of two monomers to create um, a polymer, uh, and you can make chains. Uh, it's sort of like a, uh, the, create, uh, the creation of proteins from uh, the combination of different amino acids. Elimination is the removal of water. Uh, specifically, we're going to take a look, look, look at the removal of water from one molecule. Uh, and our example right here is butanol. Actually, this is a 2-butanol. because the uh, alcohol is actually on the second carbon right here of the chain. And what happens in elimination is this alcohol functional group is removed along with a hydrogen on an adjacent carbon. And we're going to pick this specific one right here. Now, what that does is it forms water. So water is released in the reaction. And let's see if we can figure out what forms at the end. Because water, the, uh, the uh, two hydrogens and the oxygen are removed, what happens is this uh, one of these bonding areas right here actually moves over to this carbon in this location. And now what we've done is we've created an unsaturated molecule at this spot. Let me kind of clean that up a little bit so it's a little bit more... Uh, um, easy to see. And so now instead of 2-butanol, we have 2-butene. All right, so that's one of the possible products because what happens is that's not the only location in which a hydrogen can be removed. Hydrogen can also be removed from one of the carbon, oh, this carbon right here on the end. So one of these hydrogens can be taken out. So instead of actually forming a double bond between the second and the third carbon, now we've actually formed a bond between carbon number one and carbon number two. So this one butene is another possible product. And the reason why, again, is because this bonding area right here moves over to this carbon, and now we have a double bond between number one and number two. All right. Now, we've given you two examples right here, but in reality, there's one more carbon that's got hydrogens that we didn't even consider yet. And it's this carbon over here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to go ahead and change the colors over here on this side. So one of these hydrogens can also combine with this uh, alcohol functional group right here. So in reality, there are actually three possible molecules that we can draw. Now, you're probably wondering, well, if this water forms, I'll go ahead and use this color. So if this forms water right here, what kind of carbon chain do we have now? Well, what happens is this forms a bond with this carbon. And as you can see, now we have a cyclic structure with an attachment to the cyclic structure. And let's see if you guys can figure this out. Since this is one, two, three carbons in a cyclic structure, that's cyclopropane. There are no double bonds in that cyclic structure right there. But this happens to be a CH3 right here. And since that's a CH3, we say that this is methyl cyclopropane. All right, so again, for this organic, this type of organic reaction, elimination, the removal of water in um, uh, alcohols, uh, if it happens to uh, have adjacent carbons with hydrogens attached to it, it will start to form uh, unsaturated um, locations. So then you can have double bonds, maybe even triple bonds, actually, depending if you have a dial. Um, or you can actually also form cyclic structures, so it is possible to do these. Now, this is the only elimination or type of elimination reaction that we're going to be going over in my class. So uh, I know that there are other ones out there, but let's just focus on the removal of water from uh, alcohols. All right, I'll see you guys in class.